Hey everybody, this is Larry. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Let me know how you're doing this problem. I'm going to solve it live right about now. All right, 1003. Uh, check if word is routed after substitutions. We're given the string ABC is routed. For any routed string V, we may split V into two pieces X and Y such that X plus Y, X concatenated with Y, is equal to V. Uh, X or Y may be empty. Then a X plus ABC plus Y is also routed. There's a lot. I don't know if I understood that from reading it. But uh, if, for example, if S is ABC, then string Y string is ABC two pieces. Wait, let me read this again. This is a little bit, this is a mouthful. We may split V into two pieces such that, okay, so it is just, then, okay. So it's like a word wrap in itself, kind of. Um, Can you do that an infinite amount of time? Why is that there's so many uh Okay, I guess you could do it kind of recursively or the definition recursive. Just trying to understanding that is hard. Uh okay. We start the right string ABC, then we insert other ABC and treat ABC okay. Hmm. That is an interesting problem. Oh wait, are these always ABC? And ABC is the only routed string? Okay. I, j I think my problem with uh, some of these legal problems is that I always miss that part where uh, that, that some stuff is uh, uh, constants, right? Um, or like their constraints in a constant way, and I sometimes miss that, and I, oh, like generalize it in my head before I realize. Um, okay. Uh, what is n? N is twenty thousand. So, uh, so that means n square algorithm is out. I have a the naive algorithm would be a, uh, n square, I think. But uh, but yeah. Hmm. Yeah, the naive algorithm is at n square. Can I? What? How can I do better? Hmm. What? Well, you always just want to. I mean, I think the greedy is always just get A, B, C, and then remove them, and then kind of see what happens. Uh, but. That means if you remove one at a time, like in the case where, uh, then it's going to be n square, at least n choose two ish. Well, that's clearly too slow. Um, how can I do this faster? Mm, I think the force is actually more interesting, maybe. Uh, so the only way it could be force is if the running count of A, B, and C is not in inverted order. I don't know if that's a easy way to figure out. Uh, like how? Like I'm, this is a guess on my part to be honest. A little bit of a hunch, but I really don't know if that's expected solution. That's like how you like how you, I don't know how you were able to kind of figure that out on the spot, but but basically my my idea here, uh, and looking at the true, I didn't really get a sense. But looking at the force, I'm trying to find like the inverse case of where it's false, and I feel like the case that it could be false is um, is if there are more C's that are happening before A's, and then kind of like in that uh, in that way, uh, this can only be false if. Uh, for a given prefix of the string, uh, there are more C's than uh, B's or A's, or more A B's than A's. 
uh, because in that case, that means no matter what, there will always be a C uh, before one of the Bs and the As, right? Uh, so I think that's probably how I would think about it. Uh, I think you have, and there's the, the additional check that A, B, and C at the end is the same. So, uh, so yeah, let's do that then. I think I could be less hard coding on this actually, but if you see. Okay, now if and I guess I could write a loop, but this is just three if statements. Oops, almost messed it up done. Alright, but now let's test more cases. Oh. Hmm. Oh, so there's another case where that's not true. Okay. Um, it's because ABC does not um, appear in this at all, but even if, so now I'm thinking about this case where, and I guess that's why this one has done with so many downloads. Uh, where even if you have someone like this, um, it's still equals to force. So we have to take, uh, think about that case. Um, so what is? How do I deal with this? Hmm. That's a strange. Uh, I mean, it makes sense that this because ABC is not in it, but in this case, ABC is in it, and we still force. So, what's an easy way to resolve that? Hmm. I see. So every time you see a C, it has to close out an A and a B immediately. Is that true? Because, like here, Hmm. We'll have someone like this. Is that right? No, that's not right. Like that's a good string too, right? I mean, it's missing a C, but no. But I mean, uh, I guess I said it that way. But this also already is implicit in this, 
So I'm not seeing anything new. Um, because you can also like from this problem you could just decrement uh, all of them once you get a count uh, let's see uh, huh. how would I handle this case of A, B, B, C, C at least in a way that is like more natural so we just swap this, this is accurate this is good Right, and just right now I don't really do anything that uh hmm. do I have to do I do this in linear time or can I do this in log or uh, sorry and log n time? Hmm. Because that's the only other time that would fit. And what algorithms are there for that? Hmm. Well, if I do something like this, that would also still not be good. A, B, B, C, C. That is a weird one. Maybe I used up all my brain juice earlier. Okay, but it's still on A, B, and C's, right? Okay. So we definitely need this, and we definitely need this. But there's one more property that we're, or at least one more property that we're not checking. And I'm also trying to do it obviously without actually simulating it because uh, n is your 20k so that's probably going to be too slow hmm What makes this not true? Well, because ABC is not in it, but... Yeah, I mean, all the other ways are N-square, so... Any stuff that requires you to, like, remove stuff or n square Oh, okay. What am I think? I think this actually now reminds me a little bit of uh, uh, was it theory of computation or whatever class where um, oh, 
but I think you just use stack. Okay. So now, whenever you get a C, you want to be able to pop off B and A explicitly of the first two. Okay, let's do it that way. Well, let's give it a try. Hmm. If, oof. Well, this is going to be a little bit confusing to read, but um, if the stack is less than two, then return false, else um, if stack. Okay. Oh, well, stack dot pop and stack dot pop. Now stack dot append C, and then we just have to return the length of stack is equal to zero for empty matching. Hmm. And also, oh, let's put this in there. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um. Yeah. I mean, I. Hmm. To be honest, for, this is one of the, um, one of those times where I just didn't have. Um, I don't know. I just didn't have a great intuition about it. To be honest, uh, and I think in my mind I was. Um, how long did I end up spending on this? Seventeen minutes. Uh. I think I got to, so one thing that I do do when I stuck, uh, when I get stuck, is that I will, uh, in my mind, enumerate uh, just kind of different type of algorithms and think about, like, hey, if I use this, does this work? Uh, in this case, that's why I did here. Uh, I guess I'm a little bit of on stacks, um, but I think when I kind of describe the properties of this problem uh, more and more, uh, and I guess in a way, hmm, excuse me. In a way, the way that I was doing it before of the counting is a little bit more like a queue, where now it's more like a stack. Well, it is a stack. Um, uh, and I think the, uh, the the one wrong answer, which is the uh, AABBCC, let me kind of clarify that in that, like, I think I was trying to, and I think that one was this, where this is false and this is true. I was just trying to figure out how to uh, differentiate between the two. Uh, and stack was what I came up with in that, um, yeah, you know that you have to remove like the substring of ABCs and then you have, and then you kind of do it recursively in that way. Um, and I think I was kind of, uh, thinking about it in terms of, uh, when I keep on saying the N square, I was thinking about the stack in a way, uh, except for that was the recursive, imp uh, implicit stack. Uh, and also not optimal because uh, you're trying a lot of unnecessary possibilities. Um, and here um, was kind of where I land up with uh, linear time uh, and linear space, uh, where uh, when I, and I could do this in a greedy way where I see ABC, I just you know remove it. Um, and and other properties that I was talking about where like if I see a C, I want I need A's and B's to match, um, and this is. Um, given more specific subset than that. Um, but yeah, overall, okay, a cool problem. Uh, I don't know. I it was okay. I mean, I actually don't think it's worth the download, but maybe on a contest there's some issues or something. But uh, yeah, that's why I have a, this one.